so we have a line and this line passes through these two points. So the objective is, is to find the equation of this line and we want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. Of course, this is the slope intercept form. And if you're taking any sort of algebra course, this should be a pretty easy problem for you. So if you think you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And then of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution here step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. Now there's a lot of different variations to this type of problem, which is find the equation of a line or write the equation of a line or find the linear equation given some uh, information. Now, if you think about it here, we have one point and another point. Okay, so on the X, Y plane, give you a basic visualization of what's going on here, right? So here, is a lovely x, y axis. So if I have this point and let's say another point, okay, I have two points and that's what we have in this particular problem. Well, I could certainly graph the line, okay, because I have two points, okay, but that's not the question. The question is, hey, give me the equation of this line, i.e. in y equals mx plus b form. So we have two points and we wanna find the equation of this line. Now, uh, this type of problem typically comes after uh, uh, once you've learned um, how to graph linear equations. So hopefully you know something about the slope, how to find the slope, how to graph lines, et cetera, et cetera. So just kind of graphically, this is kind of what's going on. We want to find the equation of the line. And here we have two points that are on this line. So how do we do this? Well, when you want to find a linear equation or find the equation to any line, we always need two pieces of information. We need the slope, okay? We need the slope uh, of that line, and we need at least one point that's on that line. So uh, with this particular problem, what we have is two points that are on that line, but we do not have the slope. But is that a problem? No, because if we have these two points, we can calculate the slope. And then once we have the slope, we can either use this point or this point uh, to um, answer uh, the question. But this is the basic information that we need. We need the slope of a line and at least one point is on the line. Now, once we have that uh, information, we can use one of two formulas. We can use y equals mx plus b, which is the slope intercept. This is the y intercept and this is the slope. You can use the y equals mx plus b formula to actually find the equation of the line. But I'm going to suggest that you get um, really familiar and as a uh, preference, okay, like in other words, uh, if you're thinking about, okay, what, what formula should I use to find the equation of lines, I'm going to suggest using the point slope formula. So this is the point slope formula right there. And I'll explain this because this is uh, in a second, because this is the formula I'm going to use to uh, find the equation of this line. But again, you could use the slope intercept formula. But here's the deal. Once we use the point slope formula, our final answer will be in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. All right, so the first thing is we need to find the slope of this particular line. So we know that we have two points that are on this line. So how do we find the slope? So remember, the slope is the rise over the runs. It's the change of y's over the change of x's. In other words, we have to subtract the y's and then we have to put that. That's, that'll be our numerator and the differences of the x will be our denominator. There's a lot of different ways to write the slope. But basically, if you can't calculate the slope, you need to go back and review how to calculate the slope. You can find all this information that I'm talking about here in my pre-algebra and Algebra 1 course, and even my Algebra 2 course. All right, so what we need to do, the biggest uh, error that students make when calculating the slope is they mix things up. Okay, In other words, I'm going to give you um, a suggestion. Pick a point to start with. I like to underline a coordinate like this. So we're going to take this one. Okay, this is our y. So let's just kind of really uh, 
take our time here with our slope because some of you out there might be confused. So this is an XY coordinate and this is an XY coordinate right there. So for this point, Y is one and this point X is negative three. And in this point, Y is eight and this point X is four. So what we need to do is subtract the Y's. That's the change in the Y's. So do we go one minus eight or eight minus one? It doesn't make a difference, okay? But I'm gonna suggest if you're gonna go one minus eight, just underline the point you're gonna start with because this, can, this has a huge impact on your final answer. So one minus eight is gonna be what? One plus negative eight or negative seven. Now, because I started with one, okay, my uh, right here, I did one minus eight, when I subtract the y's, I must start with the x coordinate for this y. So in other words, I started with this point's information, one. So when I subtract the x's down here, I'm sorry, I think I said y's. When I subtract the x's, I must start with the negative three. Uh, a lot of students get confused. They're like, oh, that's four minus a minus three. No, no, no. If you start with this point's information here, we have to have, a, if we have one as our y, we have to have our negative three as our x. So now we're going to have negative 3 minus uh, 4. Okay, this uh, coordinate right there. So negative 3 minus 4. So that would be negative 3 plus a negative 4, which is negative 7. So we have negative 7 or negative 7, which is a positive 1. So I think um, oftentimes when students are trying to find the equations of lines, they make a lot of mistake with the slope. Okay, so if this is something that's been bothering you, and if you're not like uh, sure why you're getting these type of problems wrong, it's likely you could be calculating the slope incorrectly. So I have all sorts of different additional videos on my YouTube channel about the slope and graphing lines, etc. But uh, again, I'm going to suggest you just kind of get into my formal instruction and like my algebra course so you can learn everything you need to know. All right, so anyways, bottom line is that we do have the slope now, it is one. So let's go ahead and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel before we finish up this lovely problem. Now, uh, you know, I am not af afraid to ask for help or assistance. <laughs> you know, yeah, certainly, I'm stopping this video and saying, hey, I need your help, okay? And the best way you can help me is to subscribe. Now, you might be saying, hey, why should I help you? Well, my goal, okay, I'm gonna tell you why you should help me, and hopefully this is a compelling enough reason for you to hit that subscribe button. But uh, my whole channel, YouTube channel is, you know, my whole mission is try to, to is try to make math clear and understandable. Math is just one of these notorious subjects that so many people just don't like or, you know, it really plays on a lot of people's self uh, image or self-confidence. And I know this because I've been doing this for many, 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 many years. A lot of people think that oh, I'm bad at math, uh, you know, and that can kind of translate into I'm not smart enough to learn this subject. And guess what? This is not true. This is not true. But a lot of people, because they struggle in mathematics, will start planting these ideas in their head. Like, hey, maybe there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Okay. And if you think that, well, I'm just bad at math and maybe I should just stick to, you know, whatever this subject, you know, again, there's serious consequences to not six, uh, being reasonably successful in any subject. Okay. But math just seems to be one of these, you know, subjects that people have a tough time with. So if you are struggling in math, please don't give up. You know, I'm just telling you right now, you can learn this stuff, but it does take a lot of hard work. Okay. And you have to build your skill sets up one at a time. That is the truth. So if anyone is telling you um, anything different, like, hey, you can just learn, you know, uh, calculus in three days. Well, they're just lying to you. All right. So be careful. And if you need help in mathematics, check out my full course instruction um, or my full courses, which I do my complete full instruction. That's what I meant to say. You can find links to all that in the description. So whether you're at pre-algebra, algebra one, pre-calculus, geometry, doesn't make a difference. Now, if you are not a math student, check out my math skills rebuilder course. That is a great course for those of you that want to relearn uh, math uh, starting from the very, very basics. Okay, so thanks for giving me a little bit of time to uh, tell you what I'm all about. But now let's go and get back into this problem. All right, so the information uh, we have is we have two points that are on this line now, and we know the slope. So remember, what we need is the slope for sure, okay? That's non-negotiable, and we need one point that is on the line 
Here we have two points. So you could just uh, select either point. You can get the correct answer using this point or this point. So just try to identify the one that's a little bit easier to work with. I'm just going to go ahead and use 4, 8. So now we're basically uh, kind of changed the question. Let's find the equation of a line that has a slope of 1 that passes through the point 4, 8. That line will also pass through the point negative 3, 1. So now if you understand that, again, remember we have two options. We can use the slope-intercept formula or the point-slope formula. We're going to use the point-slope formula right now. Okay, so how does this work? Well, here, the point-slope formula, let me just go and circle the things we're going to plug in. So for m, we're going to plug in the slope. x1, we're going to plug in our x value on our coordinate that we're going to be using. In this case, that's going to be 4. And then 8 is our y coordinate. So this y1, we're going to plug in that 8. Okay, remember, when you're dealing with the coordinate, it's always x, y. In our case here, um, our point is 4, 8. So these y1s and x1s, these are the plug-in values that you're going to use for the point-slope formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in those respective values. You can see here I already did the work. So we're going to have y minus 8 is equal to 1, which of course is the slope, times x minus 4, which is again our, our x-coordinate for our point. All right, so at this um, stage, all we need to do is basically solve for y. So what you want to do is just apply the distributive property. So that's going to be 1 times x, which is x, and uh, that's going to be 1 times that 4, negative 4. So that's negative 4. So you have y minus 8 is equal to x minus 4. So what we need to do to solve for y is simply add 8 to both sides of the equation. So we have negative 4 plus 8, which, of course, is a positive 4. And this is our final answer. Okay, so finding the equations of lines, writing the equations of line, uh, lines, uh, finding linear equations, there's a lot of different ways you can describe uh, this basic type of problem, but this is hugely important in algebra. You have to know a ton of things about linear equations in algebra, okay? In other words, what they are, how to solve them, how to graph them, and how to find the equations of um, various linear equations based upon what information you have. Okay, sometimes you'll have the slope and a point. Uh, sometimes you'll have two points. But again, there are a few different ways you can do this. Again, you could have solved this problem using the slope-intercept form. Uh, and if you're like, no, I'd like using y equals mx plus b as my main formula, then stick with it. As long as you're getting the answers right, that's fine. But you do need to know that point-slope formula as well. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.